Welcome to ENF Trade TV. I am your host Trimak Chatterjee and you are watching our special program Selling the Storm. Today we will be talking about the challenges our guests have faced during the installation of commercial scale solar energy system on one of world's largest rabbit farms based in Uzbekistan. Before we jump into the discussion, could you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your companies? I am Chief Business Development Officer of Astorios, uh, Shokru Baratov. Um, so I'm happy to be here. Uh, our company is manufacturer of solar panels and uh, battery energy storage systems. So my name is Durbek Patakhov and uh, I am uh, a technical advisor for Astorius Holding and also uh, for Ampervolt. Ampervolt is, is a company which was created to overcome some challenges in the market because it's our daughter company and this independent and uh, I mean partially independent daughter company started to, to install the projects with our product, with proper quality. And this solution uh, became uh, very successful in Uzbekistan because projects are coming and uh, we are installing at the same time, supplying to other EPC companies who are just started. Uh, and uh, we are making also a very good support for them. We are teaching them how to make it properly because there is very big lack of uh, professionals in Uzbekistan in, in solar business. Great to know you, Sharuk and Durbek, and I extend you a very warm welcome to the show. Firstly, could you elaborate a bit on the scale of the project and the general challenges that it posed? So in this particular project, we have offered to use uh, 580 uh, watt peak uh, Topcon N type uh, panels. Uh, 3,500 uh, 500 panels have been supplied to this project. Uh, but the complication of the project was actually to integrate it with battery energy storage system uh, together with uh, energy management system uh, solution. And uh, there, uh, the battery was uh, provided uh, in the form of a 40 feet container with uh, 2,200. Uh, 60 kilowatt hour solution. So we had the, we had some complications because of the inquiries of uh, of the of the customer and some uh, technical specs. I think Durbeck will talk about it more specifically. But from the point of uh, Astorius as a supplier, uh, we had challenges and complications considering the region of supply, and uh, we had to uh, deal with uh, customs that never saw these batteries and how they should ship and uh, custom clear it and so on. So. That's a lack of, uh, let's say, some specialists there and some uh, well, some people on the ground as well. Uh, so we had to uh, manage uh, the supply chain uh, challenges, and we did it successfully, uh, supplying in time the prop uh, the proposed solution. It's definitely a challenge to operate in new geographies, and I'm going to come back to that. Uh, for now, Durbe, can you enlighten us on the uh, technical side of things, the challenges that you faced uh, during the project and how you overcome all those challenges? Actually, uh, this uh, rabbit farm is our first uh, commercial, indust uh, commercial and industrial project uh, which uh, which performed in, uh, in this region. This uh, rabbit farm was uh, connected to the uh, uh, so for a 400 uh, volt uh, system in the transformers but uh, they always were losing some of the phases so there is a three phase so sometimes uh, not sometimes but most of the time they were losing that uh, one of the phases because some kind of problem in the substation uh, nearby uh, which is belongs to the governmental utility companies and the second one was that uh, uh, frequency was always, uh, let's say, jumping. Uh, this kind of uh, obstacle was um, always uh, challenging for the rabbit farm because they have very sensitive equipments which are required for the growing of the rabbits and uh, for the laboratories, for their uh, feeding system. And uh, they had uh, uh, a lot of um, losses. The first solution which they were looking for was uh, to do the off-grid system. I mean, to, to, to make a microgrid, to create the microgrid for the 
uh, rabbit farm itself. And the second uh, second uh, requirement uh, was uh, to balance the PV system. Uh, they had uh, additional uh, diesel generators. So this uh, photovoltaic system, battery system, and the diesel generators had to work in uh, as a one uh, system. Uh, in order to uh, properly combine all these three solutions, uh, we uh, managed to uh, reprogram uh, the standard EMS uh, solution, which was a uh, learning of all the processes. The first uh, uh, several weeks, the uh, uh, the program which uh, uh, we integrated into the uh, EMS was learning the how the grid works with the uh, photovoltaic, with the battery, with the diesel generators. Since we uh, installed the system, we are always monitoring the uh, generation, and we are looking that looking uh, uh, for the uh, daily daily production of the photovoltaic system, operation of the uh, battery system, and the, what kind of. Uh, uh, changes are happening in the grid. Actually, being an American company, we had to check very carefully uh, how we're going to make these contracts happen. And uh, we have to be also careful about all the payments and uh, all the restrictions currently ongoing. We have to check each step of, uh, of the contract uh, payment terms and shipment terms because, you know, the, the laws are changing very fast. Uh, some countries are going under sanctions uh, for some products and some countries are going under sanctions uh, like a secondary countries. Uh, so uh, we need to check everything and uh, banks also are asking for the, for the like uh, additional, uh, you know, uh, information when we are dealing in such countries because uh, Central Asia is, uh, is located between, let's say, China and Russia and Iran. So. Uh, everybody like uh, looking out. Okay, that's Uzbekistan. What's going on there? Let's see where, what you're paying for and how you're uh, like acting. Because also we had to pay for the local company uh, for the installation, and uh, we had to attract some uh, additional equipment to supply. And then when we've been supplying as well, uh, there were some uh, questions in the customs clearance and some other things that we had to provide additional documents and uh, make special packages, uh, considering that in customs of Uzbekistan, uh, as they don't really receive every day these, these two ion uh, batteries or something like that. So that was some processing issues and challenges that we had to overcome uh, to speed up uh, the supplies. Uh, but our team, logistic team, worked very well and uh, technical team worked very well for providing everything in time. Uh, and we overcame these challenges that we had, like, you know, everyday things. That's quite an interesting project from the planning to logistics, custom clearance, technical implementation. There are a ton of moving parts. Uh, looking back on what we have shared till now, uh, what are the key takeaways that you would uh, uh, say that you gathered from this project? I think the most valuable lesson that we learn from any country when we expand our distributorship network or the supply map is that every country has its own unique, uh, let's say, specifications, I would say, it's a unique market. So people are working on their own way and you need to consider the market because uh, sure, uh, we have to supply whatever is demanded. Uh, we try uh, for sure uh, to make the change of the market on the go for, the, for the good because any country who starts, especially like in Uzbekistan, who starts so, uh, to install solar, um, every country goes through some uh, challenges and uh, then people start to learn the things and then they improve uh, and then the market improves. So uh, Uzbekistan uh, was one of the countries that made us to work hard to explain, to show and to make the difference in quality and in quality of installation with our daughter company to show the market that solar, uh, solar business works. I mean, this is the most uh, affordable energy. And this huge decline uh, in 2023 for everything around, I mean, solar business prices went down a lot and many companies struggled and then some of them even bankrupted, but that helped to develop the market a lot. Now it's the most affordable energy, not only in the countries where energy is very high 
in costs or uh, where the competition is not that fierce, but in any country in the world. And in Uzbekistan, people already uh, started to understand it. Uh, so now we are like have a lot of like inquiries from businesses, not related to any government support or anything. They just understand if they install, they have return on investment in three, four years, and that makes them to drive for installation of solar power. So that's that's like uh, some ins and then challenges and an outcome that is happening now. And that's what we have learned in, in, in the company, how to go to some specific markets. This has been a very insightful discussion, Shahrukh and Durbeck, and I thank you both for sharing your insights and challenges. I definitely believe it would be of a great help to our viewers and the solar industry as a whole. Uh, thank you for having me and uh, the Trade Show TV and uh, hope uh, we will meet again. Thank you. Thank you for having me and uh, see you next time. Join us next time as we bring you more interesting story from across the world of solar only on ENF Trade TV.